But it's all of these younger people that have turned me on to this stuff. I can take my car and just rent it out, or I can get a fleet of cars and have a whole business. You're, you're describing something that is so anti-corporate. Yeah. And yet it's exact, I mean, it's a company. Wow, I could, I'd love to make an extra 800 a month. Yeah. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. We're talking about your business. Mm -hmm. You've branched into other areas mm -hmm. now. With a similar mentality, is I mean, because the Turo thing. Yeah. That's a that's also that's a, a short term rental. This is a great one. So Toro was such a compliment, and cars were such a compliment to the houses. Right. So as people are traveling and they're staying in this home that's fully furnished, they also wanted a car or needed a car. You know what I mean? And so you could do the the side hustle Uber thing. You could even create a whole business around Uber where you get a fleet of cars and get people to drive for you. But then to me, this was even easier. You get the car and you just give them the keys. And I started. <laughs> Started, <laughs> and again, young people, young people, I guess I don't feel like I'm that old, I'm an elder millennial, but it's all of these younger people that have turned me on to this stuff. So it was actually my younger brother that was getting, was telling me about the Toro and really wanting to do it. And so the first car that now, I for ever- for those who don't know, by the yes, way- Yes, let's talk about Turo that. Turo is an app, mm -hmm. basically, yes. that is an alternative to uh, car rentals. Correct. Right? I mean, you're basically renting someone's, someone's car. personal car. Yes. Okay, and that's really the long that's and short of it. That's really the long okay. and short of it. But just like Airbnb, I made it into a business. So yeah, I can just take my one house and turn it into an Airbnb and make some money. Or I can literally buy houses and acquire houses that I know I'm gonna put on Airbnb and make money with. Same thing with Toro. I can take my car and just rent it out, or I can get a fleet of cars and have a whole business. And so that is what I immediately took in the you mindset. Can. Yes. You can do that. <laughs> I, you, I, I think I that. feel like anyone, because cars are easier than houses, That's first true. of all. Way Especially easier. in a company's name. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Especially. You use that term, you throw the term fleet around. Yeah. It's very corporate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really easy to, to get cars in a business's name. Car interest rates are super low mm -hmm. right now. You don't need stellar credit to get cars. And everybody you, wants to test drive a Tesla. Correct. Now, isn't that what you're yes. doing? Yes. So that was the first car that I ever put on Toro. My own personal car was a Tesla Model X. And I could not believe how much money I made on that car. I literally was making more money on that car than I was townhouses that I had. I have townhouses that rent for 119, 129, 149, you know, a night. And I have this car that's 209 wow. a day. And, and people were, yes, they wanted it? Yes, very, I mean, that's nine. As a business traveler, I would have to have a client paying for that. Yes, <laughs> and here's the fun thing though. Imagine if you were going to see a client, instead of pulling yeah. it up in a rental car, a Malibu, you pull up in a Tesla. Yeah. And so that was, the, I think, another thing that made that business so amazing because now you get to drive cars that you might not otherwise get to drive if you want to make this into a business. Yeah. So where are you at with that? What's Is this a, a, sort of a nascent thing? I mean, are you... Oh, no. So it's big. I think we have 13 of our own cars going um, right now. All and Teslas? No. Oh, so okay. we have Teslas. We have Porsches. We have Nissan. Oh, of course. You we have throw, minivans. You got to throw a Porsche in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, well, especially in Orlando. Yes. Minivans. Yes. Uh, Grand Cherokees. Correct. Uh, the van, Jeeps. full vans. Yes. Even, people maybe. love Jeep Wranglers. We have two Jeep Wranglers. Like we, I knew that was, and again, doing research, there, there's tons of people that tell you which cars do really well. And I was watching a, a YouTube video. Someone told me Jeep Wranglers did well. And I like Jeep Wranglers. Well, yeah, they have their time and place. Yeah, but people on vacation love them. Isn't that interesting? They, and especially driving to the beach, Clearwater, St. Petersburg, those are beaches are just one hour from Orlando. Yeah. So you have a ton of people that love taking those cars to the beaches. So in your company's name, mm -hmm. Basically, you're going, are you getting these, are you getting these brand new off of lots? Are you finding some them? Some new, some used. Yeah, So, but, but they're in great shape. Yes. They're nice. Yeah, nice newer cars. cars. Yeah, late, I think the oldest car we have is like a 2017. 
And so, do your employees, whoever they're contractors, do they are the, do they keep and drive those cars, or do you have a place where this is the company? Here's the cars. So most of our cars we keep at um, one of the condos that we have. So we have a condo and that has open parking. So we keep most oh. of the cars there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's so bootstrappy. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're describing something that is so anti-corporate. Yeah. And yet it's exact. I mean, it's a company. It is. And let me add this to it. So once you even take it to the business, let's talk about now adding to it and making it a real business where you get the LLC, you get the EIN, okay. you get the yes. website. Now all of a sudden you can get business credit cards, you can get business loans, business lines of credit, just from having just a few cars. You can get two, three cars, get your LLC. Now you have a real business and people will lend you money to grow your business. How much are you making off of these cars? So, so if you have 13 in your fleet, yeah. okay, and are they regularly out? Yes. So what's a month look like? So let's say, okay, and it's funny because we have a whole presentation. So like on the Altima, we have like a 2019 Nissan Altima. Great car. Great car. 30 Just miles solid. to the gallon, 35, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Car note on it is maybe 350 bucks. Okay. We make probably $800 profit a month off that car, okay. that one car. Yeah. Um, we have some cars where we, and, and, and so we have some cars make $500 a month, 1000 a month. 2000 like we have a Range Rover. That Range Rover is $300 a day. People really rent Range Rovers. <laughs> you would be surprised at how many people will rent a Range Rover for a day or two. How many people want them for music videos, Instagram. Uh, we get a lot. We ask, we have people calls where they ask, well, we, can we rent it for just an hour? Yeah, and that's a day. Exactly. It better be a day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for someone like me who yeah. might be just getting started mm -hmm. or who's just interested in saying, wow, I could, I'd love to make an extra 800 a month yeah. over and above the payment of the vehicle. Yeah. I could, I could do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and Toro is in all different areas. Now, of course, in some areas it's bigger than others. In Orlando, it's very big. We have lots of people that use Toro all the time. Atlanta, Dallas, those were just big cities. We were seeing a lot of um, people renting cars on, on those apps and using it. And then as rental car places are kind of going down, I'm not sure if you read the news, Hertz filed bankruptcy. Yeah. That just made more opportunity. Yeah. For the smaller guy to come in because you don't need you don't need to be Hertz to make five. 10 grand a month. You don't. Are you planning to, is your fleet just in Florida, just in the Orlando area? In Atlanta. So we, oh, we, it's in Atlanta. In Atlanta as well. We, we will bring cars are you back. Gonna, well. Are you going to start targeting other markets with the Turo? It's real, like I said, it's where we have properties. That's so, what I mean, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you have properties all yeah. over the place. Yeah, so it's like the areas that we have properties in that are doing well and we have enough properties going, we're starting to add the cars and inside of the property you put you know, QR scan codes like, hey, do you want a car? When people book the Airbnb, <laughs> you're like, hey, you want a car? And we just start offering it right then and there. Man. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing episode. If you want my new book, you can get it absolutely free at noellesfreebook.com. Get my new book, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets, absolutely free. You just cover the shipping and handling. Go to noellesfreebook.com. That's N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, noellesfreebook.com. I have poured my heart into this book and I am teaching you all about real estate, how I started, with bankruptcy, bad credit, no money, and how you can do the exact same thing too. Check out my new book because I wanna make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success. YouTube is the miracle from up above. I went from maybe one or two leads a day to probably a hundred leads a day every single day. It seems like a lot of work, but really that's 240 commercials for your business going 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're an entrepreneur, you can turn YouTube into a pot of gold.